All right, this is Jen Cochran, and she is here this morning. She works with Bertucci's, and this morning she's making stone soup. Now, the thought of stone soup, you know, the first reaction is, wow, water with a stone in it. Well, there's actually a really great story about this, and they've made a children's book out of it. Okay. And it starts with a little boy going to a door saying, I'm hungry. woman says, I'm sorry, we have no food for you. He says, well, I have stones that can make soup. Puts the stones in. She tastes it, says it's not good. Right. She says, maybe I'll add some carrots to it. So lo and behold, they put the carrots, the onions, the turnips, the potatoes. He's got soup and food. And that's the story of stone soup. Interesting. Good, because yeah. I wasn't looking forward to just chewing on rocks in the kitchen. Here. No, are you sure? <laughs> positive. I mean, we could put different colors in there for you if you'd like. No, I like what you have here. All so right. what exactly do you have here for this version of stone soup? So this version of stone soup, we're going to get started with a vegetable stock or a vegetable broth. I have chorizo, which is a Portuguese sausage. Um, if you don't have that, you can lose uh, linguicha as well. Okay. Um, then we've got our carrots, turnips, potatoes, and onions, and some red kidney beans. And we're going to put this all in the pot, and in the end, we're going to add some cabbage. Ooh, nice. All yes. right. Okay. Now I'm excited about the stone soup. Walking in here, a little nervous because I wasn't quite sure what went in it. It's very easy, very simple. I, I want to say I spent $10 to make this dish. Really? Okay. 10 bucks to make this dish, and anybody can do it. Interesting. The only right. thing that goes in is the chopping. It, well, all right. I'll let you guys do the <laughs> stuff with the sharp objects. This is Jen Cochran making the stone soup this morning. Making the stone soup this morning. Find the recipe and the ingredients online at foxprovidence.com. Oh, thanks so much, Courtney. We are making this fabulous stone soup with Jen Cochran today. And, you know, you know the story of the stone soup. All the villagers come, and they dump more and more and more. Before you know it, you get this fabulous soup. I mean, so there's a lot more than, there's not even a stone in here, but we had a lot of ingredients. Let's start, Jen, with what we have at Charisse. We have like, chorizo. Okay, yesterday was Patrick couldn't say bouillabaisse. Now it's chorizo. Okay. Chorizo. All right, we're going to actually. This is a Portuguese sausage. Yeah. And we boiled this for about 10 minutes in yeah. a vegetable stock and bay leaves. Okay. And we're going to just take this out of the pot and set it aside. It's nice and plump and juicy, is, yeah. but we don't want to overcook it, so we're going to take it out. Mm -hmm. And then we're going to add all our vegetables. Look at this heaping plate of vegetables. Oh, my gosh. So we've got carrots it's and like potatoes. It's like pounds. <laughs> Look at this thing. Oh, I my gosh. I think it weighs more than you, to all be right. honest. So we've got carrots. So, yep, carrots. And Oh my gosh, we're gonna burn ourselves here. There we go. Go away from there. Is there, there a turnip in there? There's turnips oh, and carrots mm -hmm. and potatoes. And how long do we let that simmer? Garlic for? And, s and onions. Okay. And we're gonna let this cook for about ten minutes okay. until it's nice and tender. But you want it you want it not too tender because right at the end we're gonna add the cabbage. Gotcha. And the cabbage cooks for another fifteen, ten to fifteen minutes. This is gonna so, feed. A village. Well, everybody dumps them in. Exactly. Everybody gets to share it. And don't forget the beans. We got to put the beans in there. All like right, you we'll haven't gotten splashed enough. I know, right? Well, we'll add those beans in our next segment. But Jen, we are going to head things now back over to you. <laughs> Why are you guys scared? What's, what He's holding a about? wielding a knife in the kitchen. We're in a kitchen. Patrick, we need this. This is very important. Here. Maybe we should hold it down here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're like actually, talking like. Can you get <laughs> this? And can you get this? And, uh, <laughs> Don't try that at home. I'm such a dingling. All right, so stone, uh, stone soup. Yeah, right here in the. I'm still doing stuff with the knife that I shouldn't Put be doing. Put the knife down. That's fine. Put it that way. Thank you. Hi, Jen. So Hi. where are we at in the process here of your stone soup? All right. Well, we've got all of our carrots and everything's boiling in the mm. pot, and now we need to slice up the chorizo. Look at Do that. it up, Patrick. I like to cut it at a bias. Well, this is yours. I saved oh, it for you. Great. Okay. So, and see how tender and juicy that is. It is. Mm. Sharp knife. Put that in. Yeah. All right. Now, do you know how to cut it at a bias? He doesn't. You want to cut like this. I don't want to touch the knife. You're scaring me, but just okay. cut that way. Cut it a bias, you said? Yeah, yes. there you go. Right like that. Yes, yeah. yes. Uh -huh. right th you know, Try have faith. To, there you go. Beautiful. A little thinner because we want to share it with Can everybody. Can I get a sharper yeah. knife? I mean, this thing is brutal. <laughs> I didn't sharpen knife. knives when I cleaned the roadshow kitchen. So. Right, and so then over here, awesome. what do we That's have? crazy. Oh, we got to finish the, our ingredients. Or well, we we can, wait? Yeah, no, we can okay. throw it in. We can throw this in now. So we're going to throw the cabbage in. It's going to cook for another 10 minutes. Okay. Where's your Where's your spoon? I'm going to grab it right here. Oh. Oh, I think I have a bigger okay. one. Oh, that'll oh, work. That's okay. Good. So we get to so stir that up. Yeah. Stir it all up. Now, if you run out of a little space in your pot, you can always add a little more water to it, right. a little more stock. Okay. Um, and the other thing is, is I toned it down a little bit because I wanted to share the soup with you today. Okay. So I didn't put any um, uh, more spice to it. I just oh. put a little bit because the chorizo is pretty spicy in, it, in itself. So is this the final so, ingredient except for the chorizo? Except for the chorizo. All right. And normally I'll add more. Are you doing okay? <laughs> no. You're scaring you me with that knife. <laughs> I don't know. I think I did an okay job, right? It's good enough. That's fine. Good enough I mean, is what the guest <laughs> chef says this morning. So now okay. we want to do our good bread knots. Enough. 
Yes, we have bread knots to serve yes. alongside the soup, which I'm so excited about. Cut, so we cut, cut this. that out and cut them into strips. Strips, like it, this. strips. Yep. Do you want, wait, oh, oh. too thick? Right, oh, right there. yeah, we got to serve a crowd here, right? Yes. Okay. So we're just going to cut those into strips. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then the fun part is tying them into little knots here. Okay. So think of a little pretzel. So I just kind of do Patrick, this. Here you go. You got your, your bread knot. Okay. And you, you crisscross. Then you tie. Oh, slow down, slow down. Oh, under. oh too many steps. Okay. <laughs> All right, crisscross. <laughs> crisscross. We'll do one more. Here we go. One more, one more. <laughs> we're doing good. Okay, okay. Right, so, so we're going to crisscross. Yeah. Uh, criss you can make it as long as you want. Okay. Uh -huh. And then you're going to put one under. One yeah. Under. yeah. And one over. And that's how I do over. my little, that's how I do my knots. Uh, and then you pinch it. They're perfect. How come mine didn't close? What did I do? <laughs> All right, so what do we do now? Okay, so we're just going to put it on this plate. Okay. okay. And we're then we're going to let it proof a little bit. And proofing means that the air is going to incorporate. We want the dough to get really soft. Mm -hmm. gotcha. And And this dough is a really quick and easy dough that you can make at home. It takes like five seconds. I'm actually making you a little extra today because I'm going to make you some cinnamon rolls before I leave. Ooh. Well, so well, well. Really quick. Really okay, quick. We're, fri right. we're friends again, Jen. <laughs> So we do have some baking in the oven, but we got to put that in there, though. All right, so all of it? But I don't know if these are done. Watch your back. Okay. They're not done. They're not done. All right, all right no. let's stick that in. So all of this, there was a couple pieces that you didn't do a very good job cutting <laughs> over here. Well, I saved it for you. You okay. were supposed to finish it. So maybe so you, this is no, you don't want to put up. that in there. You can eat it let's if put the nub like. aside. I might eat that. Put the nub aside. Okay, <laughs> right. here we go. It's good breakfast. Oh, boy. All right. The soup. Pers How many right people do you think this will serve, Jen? Well, honestly, um, you can use this for a couple of days. So four, family did. of four. Days and yes. days and days. Family of yeah. four. Mm -hmm. And um, I've I've done it two days in a row. Wow. So I can eat this, right? You can eat it. Is it good? Oh, it's very so, good. Very you know what, good. Patrick? We actually and do I have, have a... Um, do you, it's got a little spice to do it. Do you eat? Oh, I do. Oh, what yeah. does she eat? <laughs> <laughs> she cleans, she eats. I do. She does mm. it all. Very all good start. for breakfast. Our rolls are done, though. Oh, the rolls are done? No, they're not. No, they're not. You know what we do have, though? I don't know why. We have... I don't know why. We have right, the so finished product. We have the finished bowl of soup, which I am going to take the first bite of because I... Mm. No, uh, what? What? You have to garnish it. Oh, yes. Wow. Which I forget to garnish. Uh -huh. Your soup. A little parsley on top. Uh -huh. Look how beautiful that is. And you, you have to finish the rolls. Yeah, yeah what do we have to put oh. on top? We're like <laughs> scatterbrained in the kitchen today. Yeah. What's next on the yes. rolls? Yeah. So how long do those rolls usually stay in there for? Um, normally, when I make this dough, I usually let it sit for about an hour because the longer it sits, the softer the roll is going to be. Mm-hmm. And then we're going to finish it with um, a little bit of oil, Parmesan, garlic, and parsley. On the side with this, perfection, I bet. Yes. Hey, Rick, how about a tight shot of perfection right there? Yeah. <laughs> Mine not didn't come out so oh, good. I think mine's better. Come no. I, 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 <laughs> I don't know. I, I think P. Little might win on that mine's one. Mine's better. <laughs> oh. <laughs> You're not invited back. Actually, I have no say in that, so no. you might be back. I hope you are. This was a lot of fun. Jen, so our stone soup with our Parmesan, what is it, topped? Top rolls. N not rolls. Not there rolls. We mm -hmm. that we, I mean, we can toss them and show them. They just won't be cooked. Would you like to do that? Toss no. What? <laughs> no. I think we're good because we're going to start chowing down on all this. we got a whole yes. crew to feed here. Jen, thanks so much for joining Thank us. You. Great recipe Very for nice. Winter Thank Day. You. We appreciate Thank it. You, Jen. Good to appreciate see you. It. Good to see you, Thank too. Thank you.